Okay. Here's how to make pimento cheese. Or this is the way I make pimento cheese. I like to use three different kinds of cheeses. I don't really care what brands. But I use a Philadelphia cream cheese, a mild cheddar, and a sharp cheddar cheese. Three or four ounces of pimentos. Uh, I'll show you how many uh, jalapenos, or how hot you want it, and mayo. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> so, what I do is uh, I shred about half of an eight ounce package of cheese. You know, half of the um, sharp and half of the mild. That gives you approximately eight ounce eight ounces, maybe maybe ten ounces or so of uh, pimento cheese. Maybe closer to twelve. I'm not really thinking about it, but four ounces of pimentos, four ounces of Philadelphia, eight ounces of this, that's twelve, and then some more jalapeno and mayo. Heck, maybe it's closer to sixteen. Maybe it's closer to a whole pound of pimento cheese. But anyway, here we go. So now we're doing the sharp. This is actually 12 ounces. I usually buy two 8 ounce things of cheese, mild and sharp, but I just happen to have a 12 ounce one, so I won't do half of it. I just go till I have a nice big pile of cheese. You know, and it's better to grate the cheese than cut the cheese. <laughs> okay. Or at least, you, I guess I could edit that out. So there we go. There's a nice big pile of cheese. Yeah. It's almost like close encounters of the third kind. I, might, I want to make a big mound of cheese instead of potatoes. Okay, now, the cream cheese, I usually just chop it with a knife. Um, sometimes I use the grater, but hey, tonight I'm using the knife. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do this with one hand or not. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to set this down. And chop it. Just chop it into little squares. And then chunk that in there. Chunk it in the bowl. See? The bowl over there. Mmm. Mm. Okay. Cheese, pimentos. And next will be mayo. Alright, I usually just throw in a couple of spoonfuls, two or three. Uh-oh, and just start mixing it up. Jalapeno peppers, jalapeno peppers. I usually only put about six, but hey, tonight I think I'm going to put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm going to put about ten. I'm going to put some more in there because the last time I made it, I didn't think it was hot enough. And I usually pour in just a little bit of a liquid, too. So here we go. I don't know if you'll be able to see this or not. Hmm. Okay. 
mix it together and you'll have jalapeno I mean <laughs> pimento cheese okay so there's the finished product uh, the only other thing I would say is that when I make it I put it in a container put it in the refrigerator and never eat it until at least the next day after a day uh, it gets better and it just gets better with time although it usually doesn't last more than uh, you know three or four or five days just because I eat it up but uh, there you go that's the consistency I like you know just all the little pieces and uh, hey it's yummy enjoy Eat it tomorrow. Hey, I love you. Enjoy the pimento cheese.